Well, hello, happy Monday, June 22nd, I think. I don't know, something like that. I am in Hilton Head. Just got done with a three mile run. It is hotter than blazes out here. Um, it's like running through a swimming pool. Um, probably gonna head to the beach after this, but yeah, it's very hot, very humid. Not something I'm exactly used to running in, but yeah, got to get the uh, training in. So yeah, we'll check in with you later this week. Hello, happy June 22nd. No run today. Did do a bike ride on the beach though, so got some exercise in. Um, it was raining all day, finally stopped. So out here, just got my feet in the water, enjoying life. Spent pretty much all day yesterday on the beach. It's been uh, quite a relaxing, enjoyable uh, time. Uh, that's my first real beach vacation, so didn't really know what to expect, but it's been fun. Um, Probably going for, going for a run tomorrow. Um, we'll check in with you then, probably. But yeah, got this, and I go home for a few days, and I'm back in Florida for uh, some Disney Universal fun. So we'll check in with you later. Well, welcome back. It is Wednesday, June uh, 23rd. Uh, another hot day. Yesterday it rained pretty much most of the day. No run yesterday, but I did do some biking and walking. Uh, probably will do more of that today, but I did get a four mile run in. It's a little bit longer today. Uh, it is hot and humid per usual in uh, the south. Um, but yeah, not, uh, not too much else going on. Got a few more days here, then back home. Um, really need to then seriously start looking at New York training figuring out what the plan is there. Um, the goal of, uh, as of right now is to get as close to four hours as possible. Um, my fastest is a 428, but that's a virtual marathon at home. So I think with the adrenaline, the crowds support, we can do a little better than that. But yeah, we'll check in with you later. Well, hello friends. It's Sunday, June 27th, and I'm back from Hilton Head. Only got two runs in there, uh, <laughs> mainly because I got pretty sunburnt. Um, even when you apply, definitely keep reapplying sunscreen, but uh, you'll then you learn, so that's finally better. So only got two runs in. But it was still fun, interesting to see uh, a different area. Um, I did not stay at the Disney Resort there. We had a house rented. The Disney Resort also was closed for resort guests only, so I couldn't go in. Um, we did drive by, so I could see it from afar, but that's about it. Um, yeah, so I think we'll talk a little bit about some run Disney on this run. I'm six minutes in, just over a half a mile in. Um, but yeah, because there was some Run Disney stuff happened while I was gone. Well, mile and a half in. Um, but going well. Anyways, 
some run Disney talk. You know, so last weekend we had like the big leaks or whatever that we saw Marathon Weekend and some artwork pop up as well as princess dates. Now the dates were off. It didn't start their traditional weekends on the Wednesday or the Thursday for Marathon Weekend or Princess. But people assume that was either that was a mistake or, you know, using last year's dates or whatever. So who knows what's going on there. Marathon Weekend did have a registration date in July, um, which makes sense if they're going to hold it. Can't do it much later than July. Um, and the, the artwork was very 50th themed, which was cool. Um, Princess didn't have any artwork. And I saw the Princess one for myself. I did not, the, the uh, Marathon Weekend one did not show up for me. Um, so I can't speak from per personal experience on that one. But yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Um, I would have thought because of that, we would have got an announcement this past week. Um, but the week came and went, it's now Sunday. They obviously wouldn't release it on the weekend. Um, so maybe this week, you really can't keep holding on to this if you're gonna do it in person. Virtual, whatever, but in person, they've really gotta make an announcement soon. Um, especially if registration's gonna be in July. People have to plan for that kind of stuff. Um, just the silence is just ridiculous. I saw some people on Instagram call Run Disney um, and got no response or told it was fake or whatever. I don't know. I think they're full of crap per usual. Probably still understaffed. Does I mean the entirety of the hospitality, hospitality industry is that way? Um, so we shall see. I really, <laughs> they're really pissing me off these days. But what can you do? I mean, I'm still gonna sign up if uh, it's in person. Um, but yeah, we uh, shall see. Well, that is gonna do it for this week of running with me, catching up, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see how the rest of the week goes. Uh, I'm doing some more traveling. Uh, Thursday I leave for Universal um, and some Disney magic in there. Uh, I am staying at Endless Summer, Dockside, I believe, because there's two sides, Dockside, Surfside. I believe it, I'm at Dockside, um, and th that for three nights. And then the final night, I am at Portofino Bay to get that express pass for two days um, over the 4th. Uh, I also will be stopping at Disney. I have a couple park passes because fireworks are back starting on July 1st. So, of course, I can't miss out on fireworks being back um no offense to universal but they don't do something like happily ever after so yeah um so gonna have a lot of stuff coming to the crescent lake club from that trip stay tuned for that uh yeah uh, we'll check in with you make sure you like comment subscribe tell me what you want to see running wise uh because the disney stuff will go to the crescent lake club um and universal stuff that is but yeah, we'll see. Probably no running while I'm down there. Um, really got to start getting in the nitty gritty for New York. But that is going to be all. We'll see you next time.